Swedish armed forces, equipment used and total strength. Before I start, I'd like to apologize to all the Swedes out there for how I pronounce the names of your equipment. Let's just say Swedish letters aren't exactly easy to pronunciate. As usual, we'll be analyzing the upsides and downsides of the total armed force at the end of the video. We start with the Swedish army. Main battle tanks, total operational 110. Stridsvein 123A, total on order 44. Stridsvein 122, total operational 105 plus. Stridsvein 121, total operational 8. Infantry fighting vehicles, total operational 340 plus. CV-90 variants, total operational 340 plus. Armored personnel carriers, total operational 300 plus. Sisu XA 180S, total operational 30 plus. Patria XA 203, total operational 135 plus. Patria XA 300 6x6, total operational 20 plus. Patria XA360 AMV, total operational 100 plus. Utility vehicles, total operational 1,900 plus. Iveco M70, total operational 300 plus. Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, total operational 350 plus. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, total operational 400 plus. Mercedes-Benz G-Class 6x6, total operational 230 plus. RG32 Scout, total operational 350 plus. BMW F800, total operational 95 plus. All-terrain vehicles, total operational 1200 plus. Bandvan 206, total operational 900 plus. Bandvan 309, total operational 85 plus. Bandwagen 410, total operational 85 plus. Command and communications vehicles, total operational 70 plus. Stretch deadening sponsor Bandwagen 90, total operational 50 plus. Stropansar Bandwagen 90, total operational 1. Military engineering vehicles, total operational 50 plus. Volvo L90 F, total operational likely 100 plus. Scanjack 3500, total operational likely 10 plus. BGV 90 variant, total operational 24 plus. Leopard 2 BRV, total operational 12 plus. Leopard 2 Leguan, total operational 6. Leopard 2 AEV, total operational 6. M3 Amphibious Rig, total operational 12. Artillery, Archer Self Propelled Gun, total operational 26. Mortars, total operational 230 plus. GRKPB V90, total operational 40. 120 KRH-40, total operational 80 plus. GRKM-84, total operational 215 plus. Forward observer vehicles, EPBV-90 A and C, total operational 42. Counter battery radars, Arthur, total operational unknown. Air defense systems, total operational 98 launchers. RBS-23, total operational unknown. RBS-70, total operational 70. Iris-T, total operational 16. MIM-23 Hawk, total operational unknown. MIM-104 Patriot, total operational 4 batteries and 12 launchers. LVKV-90, Total operational 28 plus. Swedish Army personnel, active personnel 6,850, reserve personnel 10,000 plus. Home Guard 
21,200. Next, we move on to the Swedish Air Force, one of the Europe's most capable air forces. Combat aircraft, total operational 90. Saab JAS-39, Gripen, total operational around 90. Transport aircraft, total operational 10. C-130 Hercules, total operational 6. Gulfstream 4, total operational 6. Saab 340B+, total operational 1. 3 C-17 Globemaster 3 from SAC Project. Intelligence aircraft, total operational 2. Saab 340 AEW and C, total operational 2. Global Eye, total on order 2. Helicopters, total operational 50 plus. UH 60 Black Hawk, total operational 14. NH 90, total operational 15 plus. A W-109, total operational, 18 plus. Trainer aircraft, total operational, 50 plus. Saab 105, total operational, 40 plus. Saab JAS-39, Graben, total operational, 23 plus. Grub G-120 TP, total operational, 7. UAVs, total operational, 18 plus. RQ-7 Shadow, total operational, 8. Ilbit Skylark, total operational, 6. Saab Skelda, total operational, unknown. RQ-20 Puma, total operational, unknown. Swedish Air Force personnel, active personnel, 2700, reserve personnel, likely 3000 plus, We now move on to the Swedish Navy, a small yet mobile and technologically advanced force. Corvette, total operational 7. Gothenburg class, total operational 2. Visby class, total operational 5. Lulia class, total on order 4. Submarines, total operational, 4. Gotland class, total operational, 3. Sodermanland class, total operational, 1. Blackingy class, total on order, 2. Mine warfare ships, total operational, 8. Guster class, total operational, 5. Stirso class, total operational 3. Patrol vessels, total operational 13. Stockholm class, total operational 2. Tapper class, total operational 11. Assault vessels, CB90 class, total operational 160. Landing vessels, G class, Total operational 90 plus. Auxiliary ships, total operational 25 plus. Training vessels, Altair class, total operational 5. Swedish Navy personnel, active personnel 2100. Amphibious Corps 1000. Reserve personnel, likely 2000 plus. The upsides for the Swedish armed forces are many. They've got a technological edge with both their Air Force and Navy. Their grip and fighter is among the best in the world, and they produce most of their own gear themselves or buy it off either Norway or Finland. Generally, there are few armies in the world that have a higher quantity of vehicle per soldier than the Swedish Army. And when you consider that most of these are relatively modern CB90, their own version of the Leopard 2 tank and the Patria APC, it is quite astounding. Swedish industry is also something that adds to the power projection of the Swedish armed forces. They develop, create and manufacture a large amount of military gear every year. There's also likely a very large amount of fighter jets, 
vehicles and artillery in storage. Even though the Swedish armed forces are impressive, there are some downsides. Generally, most of the downside comes from the personnel sizes of the different branches. They've got less active soldiers than both Finland and Norway, less home guard, and a relatively small pool of reserves for a country double the size of Norway and Finland. Another downside is the relatively small number of artillery pieces. While I don't doubt that Sweden have some in storage, they don't really have a lot when you consider the size of Sweden. Sweden is also relatively new to NATO and will need time to adapt, though training with Denmark, Norway and Finland in the past will help. Sweden also likely needs to address why their recruitment policies have been falling behind the targets. Before you go, I'd like to ask if you could subscribe and like. I run a relatively new channel, and between moderating comments, creating content, research and graphic work, it takes quite a lot of time. If you like the content, you can support me by buying me a coffee in the link in both the comments and description. Thank you.